Hello everyone, welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a common internal tangent to two equal circles. So if we have two equal circles, how do we draw a common internal tangent? So that's what we are going to be looking at in this video. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is to draw the circles. So here is the first, is the first circle. So with the same radius, I'll be drawing the second circle. So let's call the center of this circle, let's call it A, and let's call the center of the circle B. So the next thing, let's join the center together. So we'll draw a straight line from the center of the first circle to that of the second circle. So having done that, the next thing you are going to do is to bisect this line AB. So that means the line from the center of the circles. So you pick your compass. So I've gotten the length. So what I'm going to do is to draw an arc at the top. And on the bottom. So from point B, you draw an arc at the top and at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is to join them from the point of intersection for the one at the top and the one at the bottom. So let's call this point C. So again, what we are going to do now is we are to draw a semicircle from point A to point C. But since we don't know the center of line AC, what we are going to do is to bisect line AC. So let's do that. By the time we bisect line AC, we are going to get the center of the semicircle we are to draw. So now with this, I've been able to get the length of uh, line AC. So you draw an arc at the top. And at the bottom, you come to uh, point A. You draw an arc. So where they both intersect, you draw a line down downwards. So now we've been able to get the center uh, that is the middle between uh, line A and the, I mean point A and point C. So let's call this uh, D. Let's call it D. So from this point D now, we can now adjust our compass to point A so that we can draw the semicircle. So now we've drawn uh, a semicircle from point A to point, uh, to point C. Now where the semicircle is cutting the circumference of the first circle, let's, that's point E. So let's call that point E, which is this point. Where the semicircle is touching the, one, uh, the first circle here, point E. So what we are going to do is, so we pick our compass again. Now from that point C, From point C, you are going to extend it to point E. So like this, to point E. So with that same length, you come and cut the circumference on, 
uh, the second uh, the circumference of the second circle. So let's call that point point F. Now this point E and point F are going to join them together. So this is point F, and this is point E. So with that, we are going to draw a straight line. That line will also pass through point C. Now, this straight line that we are drawing is the common internal tangent, which is what we are looking for. The common internal tangent to these two equal circles. So you can see, so this is how you go about drawing uh, a common internal tangent to two equal circles. So this is the step. So the first, so let me just summarize it again. The first thing you are going to do is you draw the two circles. Once you draw the two circles, two equal circles, make sure they are equal. You take note of the center, right is point A, and this is point B. Point A, point B. So what you do is, you bisect line AB. So this is the line here, the bisector of line AB. That gives us C. So now between A and C, you draw a semicircle. For you to get the semicircle, you also have to bisect line uh, from point A to point C, which brought about this line. So when you draw the semicircle, where the semicircle touch the first circle on the circumference, this point, this is it. Where the semicircle touch the first circle on the circumference, we call it point E. So just pick your compass, and then you measure from point C to that point E with the same length. You just mark it on the second circle. So you just join the point, and that will give you the common internal tangents to the two circles. So with this, I, I hope you find this video helpful. I, I hope the explanation is clear and the, uh, the step. If you are not getting it, just watch it again and then follow the, uh, the summary I did. I believe you'll be able to get it. So if you are here to subscribe to PA Academy, please uh, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. If you have any question or any comment, kindly leave it uh, in the comment section below. And I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.